You might have heard the term semantic search or semantic query before, but what exactly do these terms mean? To understand semantic search, let's start with the word semantics. Semantics means the meaning of a word, phrase, sentence, or text. So semantic search means searching by meaning instead of searching by something like keyword. Let's take an example. If we were to do a traditional search for Astro, one of the Salesforce characters, I might get some results for the one and only Astronomical, but I would also probably get some results for Astronomy, maybe the Houston Astros baseball team, and even the American Society for Radiation Oncology. This is an example of using keyword or lexical search. The search engine serves up relevant results by giving me the literal match of the words that I put in the search bar. But if I were to use semantic search to search for Astro, I might get back results for other Salesforce characters like Cloudy, Cody, or hopefully, Ruth. This is because semantic search uses meaning or context to find these matches. Now these results might not match the literal text that I typed into the search box, but how does a search engine or a machine for that matter learn intent? For many years, technologists have been using methods like semantic HTML or intent tables to label and store data needed to generate more relevant search results. But this, for the most part, has required human interaction because humans are the ones who understand the meaning behind the words or the images or the audio that we choose. In machine learning, there is a concept called vector embeddings. And vector embeddings are an essential part of how AI tools like ChatGPT work. Okay, stay with me on this one. GPT stands for Generative Pre-Trained Transformer. The transformer part of GPT refers to the process of encoding and decoding things that humans can understand, like a piece of text or a photograph or even a movie, into a format that a machine can understand. The format a machine can understand is a vector embedding, essentially lists of numbers that represent that original text, image, audio, or video. This is where it gets really cool. Think of a vector as a series of numbers, but not just any numbers. These are coordinates for where the original object, that text or image, audio, etc., are cataloged. Okay, so this is like old school Dewey Decimal System in the library where our objects that have similar characteristics get grouped together. Things that have similar meaning are located near each other in vector space. This is how the semantics or the meaning of a piece of text or image or audio can be translated by the machine. Back to our original scenario of searching for the Salesforce character Astro. If Astro was translated to a vector embedding, his coordinates would be in the same vector space as Cody, Cloudy, and Ruth. So our semantic search would return our entire crew of Salesforce characters. With the rise of GPT's large language models and generative AI as a whole, understanding how semantic search works is important because it's gonna transform the way we search for information and work with data in our personal lives and at work using applications like Salesforce. Mm -hmm.